Okay, this is a, a quick video um, to show you how to solo the Attunement to the Core quest. Now, I've actually already did it. I, I, I actually made a video and then buggered the video up and lost it. So I'm having to do the whole thing again. But I, um, I have actually completed the quest. Um, but basically, I do have lock picking at uh, 300 but there is a video that I watched on YouTube from a guy called Dreadblade and uh, in his video he shows you how to do it without having lock picking um, it's just an old video though uh, and I'm not sure whether it was done in vanilla as opposed to an actual WoW classic and this is this is classic this isn't vanilla um, so this is the the more up-to-date version of the uh, original game as it were so basically all I'm going to do from here is we're going to um, make a way down I'll show you where you can pick up the quest for attunement to the core now you can see over here I've, 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 I'm grouped up with um, with a character on one of my other accounts and I'm in a raid so you have to make sure before you start that you are in a raid um, the other thing that's important to remember is you don't actually have to complete this attunement to the core um, quest to actually get into Molten Core. The attunement to the core quest, all that does is, is when you speak to this guy, Lothar or whatever his name is, is that he transports you into the raid instance. Um, if you don't have that attunement, it basically means you have to run all the way through the whole of Black Rock Depths BRD and make your way to the entrance that way. But you can still get into Molten Core without having the completed the attunement to the core quest so anyway I'll get on with it now I've got no fire protection potions now when I did it last time uh, there was one point I really really got down to a very very small amount of health but apart from that one little glitch um, it wasn't too bad at all so we make our way down Right, so the quest itself comes from, yeah, so it's Lothos. Here we go, not Lothar. Lothos Riftwalker. He gives you the quest, uh, Attunement to the Core. Uh, and the quest is, you have to get to the end of BRD. There's a, um, uh, what they call the Core Fragment. You see this big spiky thing. You just select that, come back to him, hand it him. That's your Core Attunement, okay? So you select him, you pick up the quest. We now run into Black Rock Depth. Now again, I do have lock picking, um, but the on the original on the original video that I watched, he didn't have lock picking, or he didn't have the key. Now I don't have the key, but lock picking will actually get me in. I already know this because I did it in the last video that I lost. So what I will do is I will show you how to do this without having the key. Okay. And I'll explain the difference between doing it with and doing it without the key. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so basically, if you do have the key, or you do have lock picking, yeah, you don't need to go through there. What you can do is you can pick the lock here. And go in you can pick the lock on this gate and go in and you can pick the lock on this door And in you go and then you work your way up the steps okay now all I'll do is is I'll show my way in we don't need to um, we don't need to unlock the shadow forward lock but with 300 lock picking you can do that 
without the Shadow Forge key. So in here you can see those stairs that the that, that flame uh, fire elemental is going up now or heading towards. Those come from the upstairs of the arena. Okay. So if you don't have the key and you don't have lock picking, this is what you need to do. So imagine that's locked. We couldn't get through there. We couldn't get through this one. And we couldn't get through this one. What you need to do is you basically need to stealth and find your way to the arena. Okay, the actual uh, arena event, not not the upstairs bit that I just showed you. So we'll just stealth through here. Be careful of the dogs because they're very likely to detect you. Now obviously down here is that's the jail cell block with uh, Marshall Windsor and over there is the arena. Okay, um, if I bring up the black rock there, oh we've picked the right uh, continent. Okay. So this is where we've come in. This is the jail cell with Marshall Windsor, and this is the arena over this side here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we need to go into the Ring of Law, which is across the way over there. So again, we're still stealth, yeah. So just make sure you avoid the packs of dogs if you can. Careful here. Make your way over. So then we come. Now to start the event, basically you need to stand on this, this grid thing in the center. You can see this slope wall here on that side. Okay. And what we'll do is we, we'll come out of stealth now to make sure that the cooldown on the stealth disappears. But basically we walk onto this to start the event. There he is, he's appeared. And now we stealth and we run up the wall and we just stay here. Now basically you let the event start, you wait for the first lot of mobs to come out and once they've despawned this gate here will unlock. Okay, so we'll wait for it all to happen. Okay, so now you can see they've now despawned and you saw the entrance. So the entrance open up, so now we can come down here. And you can see now this is Alright, sorry, this is this is the gate we want to go through, not that one, sorry. So anyway. So we come through here, and what this does is this takes us up to the the upstairs part of the arena, the, where the balcony is, as it were. Now, you can see here, now, those are the stairs I was telling you, where the, um, where the upstairs part of the arena is. And this is where, when we had the key, we came in through that door. So you were coming through that door, up these stairs, and then follow this path. But if you don't have the key, then obviously you just do what I did there and you come in through this entrance here. So now we're going to work our way through here. Okay, 
and there's a patrol, so let's just hug the wall, like, wait till he goes past. And off we go. Okay, so that's the bridge that you need to open the, the Shadow Forge lock with and that lets you have that bridge that goes straight through. But we don't need to go there. We're going to go out here. Now, what you need to look out for is... Now, the last time I came, this group here were actually all just stood here. So, obviously, they will walk off and patrol. So if they're there, you can wait. But even though they were actually parked here, I did actually go down like this. And because we didn't do enough damage, we didn't come out of stealth. So obviously we didn't aggro them. So now we just go across the bridge and we head in towards the boss in the center over here. Past the fire elementals, we don't need to do any, um, we don't use to use distract because we're far enough away from them that they're not in any way detecting us, even the two at the end that are closer together. So we head towards uh, this boss, so on the map, so we're heading here now, so we we'll, we'll just drop down and we're coming across to here, and there you can see the boss there. Now, if you want to, you can spend the money, or make, if you've got the profession, uh, a fire protection potion. Um, when I decided to do this the first time, I just couldn't be bothered to buy one, so I just thought I'd try it without. And in the video that I saw that I mentioned earlier, the other video, he did that without a potion. But I think he had better gear, so he had a higher health pool, because at one point I was very close to dying, so that's not to say that I won't this time. Okay, so the first thing is there, you can see where the, the lava is flowing, you can see that ledge. The first thing we're going to do is jump down and get onto that ledge. Okay, so off we go. Get onto the ledge as fast as you can. We're on the ledge, we took no damage there. So we'll make our way around as far as we can go. And we are about, we are going to start falling off the ledge here. Now obviously we've got to keep as far left as we can so we don't aggro these mobs on this little island. And we go to the next stage where we can rest and then heal up from the damage we're going to take going through it now. So, you know, and we'll take the stealth off so we're a bit quicker. And off we go. Okay, so we come round as far as we can. <coughs> And then work away all the way around. Okay. Okay, so the next part we're going to go to, there's a very small ledge. I'm not sure if I can see it again now, but there's a very small ledge part of the way around and we're going to try and get to that. So before I start, I just wait till I've got every point of health that I can possibly get. And then off we go. See? Ah, yes, the small ledge, yeah. The small ledge is just over. I think that might be just there. Okay, so let's try and get there without dying. There are mobs on this little island as well, so we don't head towards that. We just need to get over here. So, I think that's the ledge there, just there. Okay, and that's off we go. So you can see we've done a few jumps before we've actually taken any damage. Now we're starting to take the damage. Oop. 
Okay, and you see, we made it to the ledge. We didn't actually take as much damage as I expected there, and I did do a bit of a cock up. So, again, so just some food, get us to full health. And the next one, we're going to go to the base of this here, onto there. In fact, actually, the way up to the bridge that we're going to go across is just around the corner, so I think we can actually make it to there. So, full health, and off we go again. Keep left as well, so we don't aggro those mobs. And there we go, we've made it and we barely lost any health there at all. Last time I did it, I lost more health than that. And actually getting to that small ledge, I was practically dead. So obviously I was more lucky or better this time than I was the first time. Okay, so we come running up here and just for any blacksmiths, that's the black forge where you smelt any dark iron that you've got so you have to come here kill him before you can smelt dark iron so save it up and then bring it with you so we have to get past two lots of three fire elementals there's three at the beginning of the bridge and then there's three down at the other end of the bridge so we're in stealth We want to get past these without dying. So we're going to distract them and hopefully get through them without aggroing anybody. Okay. We'll make our way across and there you can see the entrance to Molten Core. And we just have these three mobs now. Now, oh, there you can see the core fragment. You see it's not, um, I can't action it because I've already picked it up, so it doesn't mean anything, but that's the core fragment. So again, we're just going to get past these guys here. So I'll distract this one. Better safe than sorry. We'll get past them here, and then you would now loot this. This, would, uh, this is the core fragment. And then rather than half stoning and getting away, all you need to do now is if you enter, because you're in a raid group, if you enter Molten Core, what you do now is, is just basically you leave and you'll actually now appear next to the quest giver. There he is. And now you can just hand the quest in and then that's the whole thing complete and that's it that's your core attunement <laughs>